Hi everyone, this is a focused video dedicated to discussing just one area which is data lake architecture. So let's dig into it right away. Some quick recap. What is a data lake? Simply put, a data lake is typically considered as a storage system where data can be stored in as is or natural form. Its primary purpose is to break the data silos. Before we get into data layers, let's first touch base upon three layers of big data system that do not constitute a data lake. These are data sources, data ingestion and data consumption. If you would like to know more about these layers, I have explained these three in my introduction to big data architecture video, link of which is in the description. Here, the focus is on data lake architecture only. Now, shifting our attention to data lake, we will first discuss the layers that constitute a data lake and then we will discuss possible data flows. Layers in the world of data lakes are also known as zones. Please note that this one is a generic architecture. Organizations may choose to customize the implementation. Hence, you might come across variants of different types of data lake. So, what all layers are there in a typical data lake? Well, there can be three storage layers and one horizontal layer. The first layer is known as raw or landing zone. It's a staging area used for quick and efficient ingestion. The philosophy here is to ingest everything in vicinity irrespective of use cases or whether the data is going to be used in near future or not. Data stays here in its native format. That means no changes or transformations whatsoever are done from how the data is received from various sources. Data can be stored for as long as one wants. That means it consists of history data. That also means that a snapshot of a particular point in time is always available here. This layer is sometimes also known as a data sink. Let's discuss next layer which is trusted zone. Two key activities takes place here. First, data modeling and second, data standardization. Data here is also structured. This layer holds data that serves as a single source of truth. A trusted zone is usually used for enterprise-wide use cases where there is a need for shared data. Typical examples can be catering to a enterprise data warehouse. Yes, please note that Data warehouses can be a source of a data lake as well as target system or consumer of a data lake. Next layer is known as refined zone. Data here is cleansed and confirmed to subject areas. Data is enriched as per different lines of businesses. This zone caters to dedicated use cases for small segment of users or businesses within, within an enterprise or simply put for a line of business use cases. Business context is applied to the data here. Next, sandbox is an exploration or experimentation area where data scientists, researchers, data engineers, business analysts, and basically anyone with proper authorization can pick the data and explore, discover, innovate, create prototypes and solve problems that organizations doesn't even know they have. This is one of the strong and fundamental reason for having a data lake. This basically is also known as democratizing the data. Now, you know why raw zone prefers ingesting everything. You never know what data set can be game changer. The final layer to discuss is data lake governance layer, which encompass all data management activities like metadata management, data cataloging, data quality, data lineage, data audit, etc. Now, let's discuss possible data flows. So, an ingestion layer, as the name suggests, ingests data from sources into, into landing or raw zone. Data from raw zone cannot be consumed by end users. When I say consumed, it means used by applications in consumption layer and I do not mean sandbox here. Data can then be picked up by trusted zone where enterprise wide use cases are catered to. Next. Let's talk about refined zone. A refined zone can get data sets from both the layers directly from landing zone as well as from trusted zone. A typical flow here can be refined zone picking up a line of business subset of data from trusted zone 
enriching it with data from landing zone, applying business context and finally creating uh, catering, sorry, it to a specific line of business consumption. Interestingly, a data set in refined zone can also be promoted back to trusted zone after deploying business context and definitions to cater to wider enterprise audience. Data from any of these three zones can be picked up or moved into a sandbox. Sandbox, as mentioned before, is a key differentiator of a data lake from any other storage systems, particularly a data warehouse. Finally, depending upon the use cases, data can be consumed uh, from either trusted zone, refined zone, or even sandbox if there are use cases like quick ad hoc one-time reporting requirements. So that's all in this video. If you would like to see more topics covered on big data, do let me know in the comment section which ones. If you like this video and had a good learning experience, then do check out other videos. Do like and share. Also subscribe the channel for latest videos and trends in the world of technology and architecture. See you in the next video.